Hey, what's up guys? KSK here. Welcome back to another Linux video. This is a DPN OS, a Mac OS lookalike Linux distribution. In this video, I will talk everything about DPN OS and its features and why it is different from other Linux distros. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down there and consider clicking the bell button to get notified whenever I post a new video. Let's get started. Now, what is DPN OS? DPN OS is a Chinese-based free Linux distribution, which looks quite similar to Mac OS. DPN OS has built on the top of Debian stable branch, which means it uses a aptitude and Debian package mechanism to install the software programs. The OS looks completely different from GNOME or XFCE because it uses a DPN desktop environment built on the top of Qt, an open source UI toolkit used to build a graphical user interfaces. So Deepin OS is a unique Linux distro which is a clone copy of Mac OS. Now one of the big things about Deepin OS is that it looks like a Mac OS. If you have used Mac OS and you know what I'm saying, the whole system UI uses a translucent effect. This way the OS feels more natural and gives a Mac OS feeling in the Linux environment. From dock to settings page, you can see the blur effect. I'm going to talk about the unique settings page and dock in detail in a few seconds. Now, deep in OS also lets you tweak the strength of the transparency. You can use the slider to increase or decrease the intensity of the translucent blur effect. I'm a very big fan of this Linux distro. It gives me confidence that I'm already started using Mac OS. Not only DPN OS inherits the UI from Mac OS, it also comes with some built-in features like Dock and Launchpad. The built-in Dock is a place where you can use it to quick launch your favorite applications. The Dock also holds in a system UI objects like status bar items. The status bar button reveals the controls for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sound, and more. The dock also holds a space to display the system time and power button. The power button lets you shut down or restart your computer. Now, DPN OS also lets you customize the dock according to your requirements. For example, you can switch between efficient mode to fashion mode. These two modes lets you switch between different styles of the dock. You can also change the position of the dock by using the location option from here. Also, the dock has a built-in launchpad tool. This app icon reveals the launchpad where you get to see all of the applications installed in your computer. As you can see, it looks super amazing and notice the background blur effect which is an eye candy. The launchpad also lets you add a shortcut to the dock by using a drag and drop functionalities. This way you can neatly organize the dock with your favorite applications. So by now you understand Deepin OS is built on the top of a Debian stable branch and the default Deepin desktop environment looks much cleaner. The Deepin OS brings a unique appearance to the settings application. As you can see, the entire look of settings looks like a control center in Mac OS. This approach is super impressive. It is my favorite part of Deepin OS. It gives a better way to interact with different settings. Like other Linux distros, DPN OS offers some system applications which are pre-installed. You get a file manager, Firefox, a video player, screen recorder, voice recorder, and many other applications. Now there is a one feature which I am addicted to in Mac OS is that you can quick preview any file by pressing the spacebar and gives information about the particular file or folder. Thanks to DPN OS, this feature has built into the system. You can simply click on any file or folder and press the spacebar to preview or get information about the particular object. Now when it comes to themes and icons, like Mac OS, DPN OS supports a dark mode and it's not super impressive. This is a not a pure system-wide dark mode, but gives an option to enable or disable the dark theme per application. Let me show you that in action. Let's say I'm inside a file manager. Here, by default, if you notice, it uses the light theme. Now, to turn on the dark theme, you can click on this menu button to reveal the toggle for dark theme. This way, you can enable or disable the dark theme per application. Now, when it comes to icon packs, a deep in OS comes with cool icon packs that simplifies the UI in a better way. There are three built-in icon packs you will get out of the box. Along with icon packs, you get a cursor themes, which lets you change the look of mouse cursor. 
Like Mac OS, a deep in OS support an option called Stacks. Basically, this feature lets you organize the files in a much simpler way called merging. Within the desktop, you can use an auto merge option to group the same type of items with one simple click. This way, it organizes the files in a much neat way. Now, when it comes to system animations and transitions, Deep in OS supports dock animations. Whenever you open any application, the app will animate for a moment just like Mac OS. The entire Deep in OS inherits the Mac OS animations and transitions. For example, you get to see a scale up transition whenever you open or close any application. It's super snappy and a lot quicker. Like other Linux distros, Deep in OS comes with a built-in app store. There are tons of applications you can download from different categories. From software developers to normal users, App Store lets you fulfill the basic necessities. You can download various text editors and IDs for software development. This way, you don't need to rely on any third-party app resources. For example, if you're looking for Android development, then search for Android Studio and install it. So the bottom line of this video, if you love Mac OS, then you will love Deepin OS. Or if you are not the one who can't afford MacBook, then Deepin OS is another way to try out Mac OS. This Linux distribution has a much cleaner UI compared to other distros. From beginners to pro developers, everyone will appreciate the work of Deepin OS. You can use it for normal computing, coding, and media consumption. It is a versatile Linux distro that anyone will fall in love after using it for a few minutes. So let me know what you think about Deepin OS. Should you try it? Also comment your opinions and suggestions. I definitely consider it improving my channel. So that's pretty much it guys. This has been KSKRIL. I will catch you in my next video. Peace out.